Stian, we've uh, come inside to the gym because it was so cold. Have you, uh, have you played in colder conditions than that? No, I think this is up there for the coldest um, that I ever played in. Um, back home, we, we, hardly, we hardly play in conditions like this, but coming to England, then, especially in April, you must know you're gonna, one or two days you're going to be in the cold and in the dirt, so definitely the coldest I've played in. And I suppose um, you don't worry too much about the cold when you when you're bowling the way you did. Um, three wickets and eleven balls, I think it was. Uh, just just yeah. talk us through that. Yeah, it's um, when you bowl. I actually want to bowl because then you then you're like busy and you keep in, in your warm. So um, so yeah, and the, the wickets are for me especially with the with the pace I bowl. I think it's uh, effective on the wicket we played at or played on. Um, yeah, and it's just weird. Sometimes the ball just goes straight, and sometimes it just goes like a leg break. Um, so yeah, I'm fortunate to to have put the team in a, in a decent position. It's a very strange pitch in that when the ball's new, it seems to be going pretty straight and not too difficult to bat. But the moment the uh, the lacquer goes, it starts to go all over the place. Uh, yeah, we, yeah, like we are. Yeah, we especially like you said with the new ball, it's like it's okay to bat on. You get the odd one that nips, but if you on that uh, twenty over mark, then it seems when the lacquer is off, it seems just to go well over the, over the shop for like ten overs, and then it flattens out again, and then you get a spell where it goes a bit for five overs. So it's a I don't know if it's a ball with the overhead conditions with the lights on or the wicket, um, but yeah, it's a strange, it was a strange two days that we played. Um, as a batter, you never felt in, and I think as a bowler, there's stages that you feel the ball just go straight, and then there's, there's stages that you, you feel you can get a wicket every ball. And you were millimetres away from a, from a hat trick. Have you ever had a hat trick before? I think I had you know, I got one hat trick, yeah, but I think I was back in school, so I don't think that counts. But, um, but yeah, um, no, the better, I think it was Taylor, I think he wanted to smack it for four and it's um, lucky I didn't find the edge, um, but it would, would have been very nice to, uh, to get out of Patrick. And um, we're forgetting, you know, you got uh, 40 odd earlier in the day, crucial runs really, I mean, how, how good a total um, was 200 in the third innings? Yeah, I think um, um, we said, um, as a batting unit, we said, um, normally we talk about hundreds and we said, yeah, if, if, if we can scrap around and uh, even a 30 will be a 30 will be like a 60 or 40 will be like an 80 um, on that wicket and, and like you say I, I got a um, 45 and Finch you got almost 50 so that that's crucial on, on, on a wicket like this because um, like I said as a batter you never quite in um, and um, I like you to get out so on uh, on 40, 45 you want to go on if you get there um, but crucial rounds and like like I said we still 60 or well, they still 60 away so if we if we end up playing tomorrow. Um, it's going to be a good game. Hmm. Well, the forecast tomorrow isn't great, but yeah. if we do get on, we might only need a, a couple of hours. And, and like you say, I guess it could go either way. Yeah, um, we could rock up here and it could happen in 10 overs. Um, or we could, or they can knock it off in 10 overs. Um, you never know, but um, the weather's out of control. So just let's see, let's see what happens. And to, maybe if we play tomorrow, then may the best side win. And finally, um, we've had your, your father getting in touch on Twitter. He's, he's a big fan of ours on, on the Sussex Twitter account. See. He promises he's coming over this summer and he's going to be yeah. bringing the sunshine with him. Yeah, um, well, I see he's, uh, he's very active on, on Twitter. He's actually more active, active than me. Um, but yeah, he's here on the 20th of May for a month. Um, so yeah, it's always, always good to have him around here. Yeah, like, uh, he, he loves cricket and obviously supports me and he's a massive fan of Sussex cricket as well. So it would be great to have him here. Yeah. Well bowled and well batted. Thank you.